Lars or low anterior resection syndrome describes a constellation of bowel symptoms that many rectal cancer survivors experience following restorative proctectomy. Most existing studies report Lars scores in the post-operative period in patients treated for rectal cancer without taking into account individuals' baseline bowel function prior to treatment, nor bowel function in the reference population when interpreting these scores. Although normative LARS data exists for several European reference populations, North American normative data was not available. The objectives of our study are to investigate the prevalence of LARS in a sample of the general North American population, to identify any association between various participant characteristics and uh, presence of LARS, and to study the association between LARS and quality of life in the general population. This was a cross-sectional, single-institution study. Adult patients who underwent screening or surveillance colonoscopy with only benign endoscopic findings were included. Sociodemographic information and a priori selected risk factors that have been previously associated with bowel dysfunction were examined. These included diabetes, neurological disorders, depression, and history of cholecystectomy. The primary outcome was bowel dysfunction, as measured by the LARS score. Of 1,004 eligible participants, 50% agreed to complete the survey. Major LARS was present in 10% of participants. Compared to men, a greater proportion of women experienced symptoms of major or minor LARS. In multivariate linear regression, younger age, Caucasian ethnicity, female sex, and the presence of one of the a priori selected risk factors for bowel dysfunction predicted a higher LARS score. The presence of LARS was associated with lower scores in overall health and on all functional subscales of the quality of life questionnaire. Our study results demonstrate that a considerable number of individuals without abdominal disease or surgical treatment experience LARS-like symptoms. Our study highlights the importance of assessing the level of bowel dysfunction in the reference population when interpreting results of the LARS score among rectal cancer patients.